With the expansion tile widget, you can expand any widget in Flutter. You could also expand whole lists of widgets. We will also look at how you can click on another widget and then it is expanding and the old widget is then shrinking. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with a simple card and if we click on this text, then it is expanding and you can then see the description of this person. Therefore, let's go inside of our build method and here I have basically already created a card which you see here on the right side. And inside of the card we want to place an image, which is here a network image and also a text widget. And therefore I simply put within the card a scrolling column inside and inside of the column we put the image and the text inside. Next we want to click on our title and then it should also expand and show here a description text. Therefore we simply go here to our text widget and we simply wrap this text widget inside of an expansion tile. And this looks then first of all like this, so we have here this expanded icon at the end. However, if I click on this, there is nothing happening. And therefore you also need to supply here this children property. And here inside you put then the text which should be expanded. So in this case our description text. And now if I click here on this expanded tile, you see here the description text and it is also scrolling. And the scrolling works only because we have set here a column and around it we have set here this single child scroll view. So if you don't put this here inside and then if you expand, then you get here first of all this error because you cannot scroll this text and therefore make sure that you simply put here the single child scroll view around your column, which has then your image and text. Next, we also want to make our design more beautiful. And therefore you see right now that the text is also going here outside of our rounded card. And inside of the card, we have also supplied a shape with a border radius. And this border radius makes here our card rounded. However, the content itself is not rounded and therefore we also need to put here this clip R rect inside and we also make our content rounded with this border radius. And now you see that the text is not overlapping anymore and it is cut it away. And lastly, we also want to add some padding here around our text and therefore you have within your expansion tile this property children padding and I set it here to all sides with 16 pixels. And now you see that we have here always some space around our text and if you don't like to have here so much space at the top, you also can set here the top variable to zero and this will then decrease our space here at the top a bit. Sometimes you might want to listen to if it was expanded or if it was shrinked and therefore you have here within your expansion tile this property on expansion exchanged and here you basically get in this boolean field if it was expanded or if it was shrinked. And right now I simply print it here within our snack bar. And now if I click here on this one, it says expand tile. And if I shrink it again, it says shrink tile. And here you could basically put your logic inside what should happen if your tile was expanded or if it was shrinked. Sometimes you also want to expand and shrink your expansion tile programmatically. So let's say if I click here, then it is expanding and shrinking. However, if I click here anywhere on this image, this is not happening. And maybe you also want to click on this image and then it also should expand. To achieve this, I simply add here two properties to our expansion tile, a key and also this expanded property. And then within our state, we create this key, which is a unique key and also this field if our tile was expanded initially or not. And if we go back to our expansion tile, you see that this initially expanded is basically a field which you can set to true or false if it is initially extended. So let's put it for example to true. And after you hot restart, you see that it is then automatically expanded. However, if I set it again to false and then I hot reload, then you see it is not shrinking. And this is because this widget only expands initially if the expansion tile was created for the first time. Therefore, if we would change here this expanded property with a set state, this doesn't have any effect. However, we also can use a small trick. So instead we can also put a key inside and every time if we put here a new key inside, then it creates a new expansion tile from scratch. And then also this initially expanded will have here the right value inside. Therefore, I create here at the top a new method expand tile. And every time if we change here this expanded flag, we also want to create a new key so that our expansion tile widget is created from new from scratch. 
And then we also put here this is expanded field to true. And these both in combination will care that our widget is later expanded programmatically. And we also can do the same thing for the string method. Here we simply create a new key and we also put this is expanded flag to false. And now we can make use of these both methods to programmatically expand and shrink our tile widget. Therefore, I simply go here to our image and if we basically click on this image, then we want to expand or shrink. If it is currently expanded, then we want to shrink our tile. And if it was not expanded, then we want to expand our tile. And now we can try it out. So if I click here anywhere on this image, you see it is expanding. And if I click again on this image, then you see it is shrinking. Furthermore, we also want to create here a list of expandable widgets. And basically you have here different kind of stages and you always can expand different widgets. And lastly, we also want to look at the expansion panel widget with which you have much more control over your expansion. Before we look at these examples, I also will quickly show you how you can remove the divider at the end of your expansion tile. Therefore, you simply go to your expansion tile and here you wrap your expansion tile inside of a seam widget. And here within the seam widget, you can then set the divider color to transparent. And this will then basically hide here our widget at the end, which is our divider. So if I scroll now down, you see there is no divider anymore. To create this more complex expansion tile with nested expansion, therefore we need to add first of all a model object. So I have created here a class basic tile and this basically holds the title, which is then always the text which you see here within our expansion tile. And secondly, you can also set optionally a list of basic tiles, which means that you can put within one tile multiple other tiles inside. So for the first layer, it might be that we have the title dates and then the items 2020 and also the other four dates. And each of these dates can have again some items. So for example, this 2020 has then again some items inside. And therefore I have already created here a data class with some data. So we basically have this dates basic tile and inside we have a list of tiles and here we have then all the dates. And some of the date tiles have again inner tiles, which they create to also create other tiles. And now we want to make use of this basic tiles and display them in our UI. Therefore, I simply go to the build method and create a list view. And inside of it, we want to create all our basic tiles. And for each of these tiles, we want to create a basic tile widget where we put then this individual tile inside. Now let's create this basic tile widget where we get then every time this basic tile which has the title and all the items. And here within our build method we basically create an expansion tile and put here our title inside which comes in from this tile. And this looks then initially like this. So we have here our countries and our dates. And this is right now the top layer. So we display here countries. They have later also some items below. And then we also display here the dates which is also the top layer and later we have also some items below. And like we already learned before, we also can set the children property to also create our expanded part. And therefore I go over the list of our items and here I basically create for all of these inner items also a new basic tile widget. So basically it is referencing here the same widget which we are right now inside. And with this you can click here on one tile and then you also see all the children which are here our tiles. If we look at our data, then there is some small problems. So for example, these both tiles 2020 and 2021 should be also expandable because they have here some tiles inside. However, there's also the case that a tile doesn't have any tiles inside and therefore it shouldn't be expandable because there is nothing inside. And therefore we go to our basic tile widget, which was created within this children property. And here we basically check if our tiles are empty and if they are empty, then we don't want to create here another expansion tile. Instead, we create a normal list tile which cannot be extended. And here inside, we also put our title inside. And now if I hot reload, you see that the items 2022 and 2023 are not having this expansion anymore. And now if I click here anywhere on 2022, then you see we can expand. However, if I click here on the last tile, I also want to add some logic, what should happening. And therefore, I simply go to this tile 
And here I basically have then this on tap handler. And if we click on this one, then you can put here your logic inside. And I right now show simply a snack bar, which says on which title I have clicked. And now we can try it out. So I click here anywhere on this title and you see that we have clicked on the first title and you also can do this with other things. So for example, I click here, then you see on which item we have clicked. If you like, you can also add here another style for your expansion tile. And therefore I simply go to this expansion tile and wrap it inside of a container. And then I set here right now to all sides 16 pixels in space. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here more space between our tiles. And secondly, you also can put here decoration inside. And here I basically put this border radius to round it. And I also put here a border inside with this blue color. And with this, you see, we have here this rounded border around our expansion tiles. And also if I expand a widget and here we have another expansion tile, it also has this border. A small issue which you might face is if you click, for example, on countries and then you scroll here a little bit down and then you also expand your other widgets and you go scroll down. And then at some point you scroll again up, you see that the countries is not expanded anymore. And this is because our expansion tile lost its state if it was not visible anymore. And then it lost its state if it is expanded or not expanded. And how you can prevent it is by simply putting here a key inside. And here you put a page storage key inside. And inside of it, you put your identifier inside, which identifies your expansion tile uniquely. So normally you would put here an ID inside, which is identifying your object, which you display as an expansion tile. However, right now I put here simply the title inside because all our expansion tiles have a different title. And with this, we can try it out again. So I expand here this countries and I scroll a bit down and I expand here other widgets to get out of this view of the countries. And then I scroll again up and you see that the countries is still expanded. Sometimes you also want to have more control over your expansion tile. And therefore, for example, if you expand one widget and then you expand another widget, then you want maybe that the first widget is shrinking again so that only one widget is open at a time. To achieve this, we create this time an expansion panel and this panel has then more control over your expansion. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and better developer. Let's get started by creating an advanced style model object. And here we basically have another field, which has then the state if our widget is expanded or if it is not expanded. And secondly, you could also put your other data inside to display it later within your widget. I've created again a list of advanced tiles and this works pretty similar like the one before, only that the name is different. And I also have added here an icon for each of the tiles. And now we want to display these advanced tiles in our UI. Therefore, I simply go to the build method and this time we create here an expansion panel list. And with the constructor radio, you can define that only one widget is here expanded at a time and the other widgets will then not be expanded anymore. And to make this expansion list work, you also need to wrap here a scrollable widget around. So I add here this single child scroll view around. And now we can create our advanced tiles. Therefore we map over them. And for each tile, we create then an expansion panel radio. And this is already a widget which was created by the Flutter SDK. And here inside you need to supply the value. And this is basically identifying your widget. So in this case we take the title. However, you can also use an ID instead. And then you also have here two properties. The first one is a header. And within this header, we simply build here the header itself, which are for example, these animals or the dates. And here inside I create then a method build tile and put here the tile inside. And within this method, we basically create a list tile, what we learned before, and put here our text inside. And we also can show an icon, which I have also added to this advanced tile. And I simply display here also this icon at the leading property. And this icon will be then displayed here on the left side. And next to the header, you also have here all the items which are below. And this one you can create within the body property. And here we create basically a column. And then we map here over all of the items of our tile. And then we simply build here also this tile with the same method which we have created before. 
And now you can click here anywhere on a tile and you see that it is expanding. And if I click on another tile, you see that the other one is shrinking and the new one is expanding. Again, like before, if you click later on one of these items, then you want to add some functionality. And therefore you simply go to this list tile and put here again this on tap handler inside. And here we basically add then the functionality, what should happen if we click on this tile. And right now I simply show here a snack bar with the title text. And now if I click here on this line, you see that we have here all the different items. And with this, we can click here on any item and you directly see that we have executed here the logic. Alternatively, you also can have more control over your expansion by calling this expansion callback. And here you get then every time the index of the list item which you have expanded and also the field if it was expanded or if it was shrinked. And then you simply can access over this index your tile. And here I basically show then a snack bar every time if it was expanded, we show here shrink because if it was expanded, then he is shrinking. And if it is not expanded anymore, then he should expand. And with this, you basically can listen if you click here on one expansion tile, then it says expand date. And if I click again on this one, then it says shrink dates. And this is exactly what we put here inside. Like you remember, we also have here within this advanced tile model, also this is expanded field. And now we can basically set this field every time if we are here within this callback. And therefore I simply add here this tile is expanded. And then I put here this new is expanded field inside. And I also call this head state. And this is basically not changing anything in our UI. It is only saving the is expanded state within our tile if you want to use it at a later stage. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!